I am sorry I'm late. There we go. Sorry. Sorry about I'm late and sorry about that. Um, yeah, I've, I've had to post a story on Instagram saying that I was streaming. And then also, um, yeah, million messages. So I have the Arturia Astrolab. And rather than having some confusing mess of like seven cameras, I'd, I realized that my webcam can do this. Check this out. Boom. What do you think about that, huh? And then if we want to look at Lucy, if we want to check in on her. Boom. I got to move this out of the way. Here, let me, let me yell at her. Lucy! <whistles> I have a deaf dog. She's almost entirely deaf now, which is kind of a cool thing if you're a dog. Like, it's, very, it's a very peaceful existence. So I have to, uh, unfortunately tap her a little bit to wake her up but she she does she asked me to do this if she was on the stream also um hey ma'am now ma wake up you're on you're on the on the air girl oh my goodness okay she's like what you woke me up for this lucy you asked me to yeah she's your baby all right Oh, she's a little damp from the rain. Yeah, very upsetting stuff. But anyway, I've had this functionality forever, and I totally forgot. I have a little robotic Insta360 camera. So anyway, uh, what we're going to be doing today, a little bit different than usual. Um, or I guess it's going to be a little bit different than the other Astrolab videos that you've seen. I didn't do an Astrolab launch video because I don't do launch videos. And also, um, everybody kind of got all the... You've seen this. You've seen the menu. You've seen what it can do. Um, so now we will look at the inside. And I've put a little text here so nobody gets confused because I felt like this would definitely be a question. I've seen this a lot on Twitter and other places where people are like, why would I buy this when I could just have a... Key lab, <laughs> you know, a key lab MIDI controller. Um, this is a stage piano. The Astrolab is a stage piano. This, what you're seeing, is also a plug-in, but it is controlling the stage piano. And so all of the audio that you hear coming out of here is coming out of the Astrolab. Got it? Is that even loud enough? It could be louder, I suppose. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to play around with it for a bit. And then after we're done playing around with it for a bit, we are going to try to put some like some of those crazy generative pigments patches on it. See how far we could push it. So, yeah. And then uh, we'll see. My mom will probably want one. Mom, you want one of these? My, my mom plays a little sort of stage piano. This could be an upgrade. All right, let's zoom in on the old piano here. Well, first, let's check on Lucy. All right, she's asleep. We're good. All right. Oh, I see that the chat is... Piano in front of the chat? No. Okay, good. So, let's start with the pianos. Um, this is like a combination of... Well, I guess you could see the screen there. Um, an interesting thing, now to me what's really important is that I can play and then So how, what, how this deals with things, and this is what I'm assuming. Now I know you can't really see the screen, but you could see this screen 
over there, which is fine. So we have an acoustic grand. And now if I switch to another acoustic grand or another single instrument like this, It's almost as fast as the Yamaha Montage, which to me is the, the screen needs washing off. To me, the Yamaha Montage is like, in terms of patch switching live, it's the cream of the crop, the creme de la creme. Nothing gets better than that. Um, I'm not sure if anything will ever get better. And I think it's because it runs separate sound engines for whatever's coming next. So it just kind of instantly loads everything. Um, this is still not... <laughs> I, I don't want to press, well, I could press it, I guess. I like don't want to actually wipe the streaks off because I don't want to, it needs to be off. There we go. Beautiful. Now I'll muck it up in a moment. Um, so, yeah, so I'm just demonstrating if you only have one thing loaded, which is generally like if you just need a stage piano, organ, electric piano, keys, Pad. Electric piano. And piano. So that's like, I feel like a lot of people kind of miss that in some of the reviews I saw. Um, that is a requirement for a stage piano. Like that's very, very important to be able to switch patches super fast. Now, if I switch between, let me find two dual patches at once. Okay, so there's ambient piano pad next to aliasing piano. Now what? This now this will probably be slower because it can't it can't leave one of them open. So this is loading the what are the? I believe that's the additive synth and then the piano, and now. The next one that I switch to will be augmented piano. Two instances of augmented piano. Okay, ready? So it's gonna take a minute. Although it should be seamless. Okay, now they're both loaded. And let's go back to that other big patch. Should be a seamless thing. There we go. So, like, obviously, I would rather this be able to switch between all of the big patches instantly the way it does with the others, but that would technically require it to run, like, four pigments at once. And I think what's happening is three. Like, I'm, I'm these aren't all pigments. I'm just using that. That's what I'm assuming is, like, infinitely the most processor-intensive out of all of them. So, but the fact that it's loading up all of these V collection sets so fast is honestly really, really impressive. And as of right now, I could easily, here's pigments. So this will be like. And this is. Is the CPU upgradable or hackable? Um, no, I doubt it. I highly doubt it. But I, this does the job. I, I, you don't, I don't, well, I mean, we'll find out. I mean, that's why we're doing the stream, right? Um, viral beats. I finally ordered a key bag, key, key bag. <laughs> finally ordered a key bag, key lead make two. You're, you're okay. And you're okay ordering the key lead make two. It's still fine. It's still great. This is, something that i keep wanting to reiterate this is a perf this is a stage piano if you're not performing 
the only reason this should interest you if you're not like a performing musician, and I'm not like, gatekeeping it, I'm currently not a performing musician, but if you're not a performing musician, the only reason that something like this should interest you is to sit in a room for you to practice on. Um, for that instant gratification of just being able to press something and play it. That's distorting a little bit. Okay. Um... And that's actually a really good use for this, too. Like, I feel like if you're not compatible with things like Yamaha Montage, then this would probably be a great a great option to have as a practicing piano, if, if it's within your budget, of course, because it's not cheap. Although I think it's, what, 2000 now, right? Um, U.S. dollar, but I do think that it's cheaper in Europe. Anyway, so yeah, good, good times. Also, yeah, if you want like analog emulation that you're familiar with, where you actually know what synths you're playing and there's no copyright infringement happening, this would be your, uh, your baby. Here's another little take. Um, a lot of folks were, uh, I saw a lot of folks, not so much, well, okay, so two, two interesting takes that, that are worth mentioning right now um, about this. One of them, noticing, I, I briefly looked at the R synthesizer subreddit and seeing the sentiment about this thing there and then looking at like my Twitter and seeing an Instagram and seeing the sentiment for it there made me feel really good that I stopped making gear reviews. Like the negativity that was thrown at this just because like, and people were just like, why would I buy that when I could buy a matrix brute for the same price? Um, is just like, what the fuck are you talking about, man? Like, they're not the same thing at all. Like, they're not even relatively in the same department. Like, they're two, one's a stage piano and one's an analog synthesizer. <laughs> like, there's, so you could not get any, anyway. So that sort of, but but another really interesting thing that, that I thought about with this, I was kind of, weirdly, I was kind of like, popping some popcorn watching this release and watching the public take it all in because I was very excited. I've known about this for a long time and I was very excited about it. And I, when I first found out about this, I think I was still playing shows and I was like, Oh, 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 hold on. I, I I'll bring this thing on stage in a second. This sounds right up my alley. Um, I tried one out in 2023, early 2023. So about a year ago was the first time I got to try one out. And, um, I was really blown away by it. I was very excited by it. And as this rollout came, you know, I knew when the date was going to be announced and stuff. As this rollout came, I thought to myself, this, this is going to be an interesting one because it's really going to define people who like noodling around with synths and people who are musicians who got into the synth world from being a musician. Because a keyboard player, this is 
almost everything you could hope for other than 88 keys. But if you're performing, if you're playing on a stage, you don't want to drag this mass. I mean, even, yeah, I don't want to drag that thing around the U.S. This thing's much lighter, much more manageable. Um, so, so like gigging musicians, it like separates them from the noodlers. Now, another thing to point out, there's nothing wrong with being a noodler. And I just, I think I just did the music tech podcast. Or I think the music tech podcast just came out and I talked about this for a minute there where a lot of this industry is held up by people who just noodle, who just kind of collect synths and play with them, make noises, twist knobs, even with DAWs, they sort of just play around, check out the features, make a few noises, but they don't really finish any songs. There's nothing wrong with that at all. That's actually a really healthy hobby to have, and there's no shame in it whatsoever. It makes more sense than, like, you know, uh, a, a good example to think of is fly fishing. You're standing in a river for eight hours, you know? That totally fine hobby, I'm sure it's fun, but seems a little bit more absurd than having a modular synth in your home that makes cool noises. So, like, right off the bat, there's, like, these two different sides of things. But one thing that I was excited, one the reason I'm excited by something like this, where it doesn't have any type of, uh, you know, like it all, these are the only controls I have. And so if I just load up a keyboard, this is all I got. Beyond this, I'm on my own. If I want to load up a pad, got some brightness, some movement. Everything else that happens is up to me playing, right? I have to actually explore it. And if I get bored, I have to play some new chords. I have to learn something new. And that makes me a way better keyboard player. That makes me enjoy being a musician more rather than a tinkerer. And so anyway, the reason I'm even going off on this tangent is that these things are worth keeping in mind when something like this hits market is that if you're a tinkerer and you're really only into patching things around physically or having an analog synth collection, this is totally not for you. If you're a keyboard player and if you like synths on that side of things, this might be really appealing to you. Anyway, all positivity, though. Like, all, all of these things, like I said, are extremely valid. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I have the voice of reason. Okay, so uh, this is connected. One thing to point out, I can play <laughs> right now. It's bridging MIDI from down here as well. If I want to play the Key Lab 88, I realize that I just have this massive white wooden Arturia set up here, which is kind of cool. But anyway, um, so I can change pads or pads. I could change things here if I want. Uh, there is a, sequ a looper sequencer. Let me... <laughs> New recording, please. Oh, I turned off the metronome. That's why I'm confused. So if I want to hook this up, so like, let's say I had a show and I wanted to hook things up before the show and say, okay, well, I want all my presets here. I could just go through this as if I was going through Analog Lab, but it's actually loading them on here. And then if I want to edit the actual presets, I, well, we'll go back to that in a moment, but uh, I actually have the V collection synth here. But now keep in mind, it is being played from the Astro Lab. All the audios, no audios coming out of this coming out of Astrolab, the plugin, it's only coming out of, or I'm sorry, no audio is coming out of Analog Lab, the plugin, it's only coming out of Astrolab. So this is the way it would sound on stage. And the fact that I don't hear an arpeggiator makes me think that I have to hit this. Yeah. Okay, so the arpeggiator, if I hold this, then I can... Keep it held down, change the type to random octave range one, and let's go with the classic 16th. All right. And then you can have an arpeggiator only control one part if you want, which is cool. So let's do it. Thank you. 
Can we change these? I'm just seeing if these are changeable from here. Okay. So, uh, these are our pedals that we could... You have a lot of options. Rotary speakers. Things like that. Distortion. Some more options here. Then, of course, delay. Analog delay, digital delay, tap delay. And then we could edit our sends here. And then finally, reverb. large concert halls probably the biggest actually let's play with a different patch for that <laughs> yeah i feel like large concert halls probably the biggest here these aren't the best reverbs by the way Yeah, Noodleware would be great with this. In fact, I have the new uh, Keystep Pro, which... Which I was going to use with this, but I feel like that's too much for one stream. <laughs> Not the craziest reverbs in the world. Let's see how good this sounds. All right. That... Maybe these aren't adjustable in real time. Or am I on the wrong part? No, we're good. Um, now one other thing I want to wonder real fast is can I edit this live here tape delay all I mean all the uh, parameters that you saw there are available here so um, increase the stereo you could ping pong it but I really want is more intensity. Pong time. And now let's edit the reverb. Sorry, you can't see the screen at the moment, but now let's get that room size up.
fun. Oh, all right. So yeah, I believe that. Let's explore Kalimba Keys. Okay, yeah, also, um, there is a looper. One thing that I keep doing with the looper, which is funny, is I always think that it says now recording, and it says new recording. <laughs> it's like a little issue that I keep having. All right, so there's a metronome. Okay, so that's a new recording. Oh, I see. So it does that. Okay. Let's do that again. So this follows I would put this above the mod six mod X six plus. I would put this above the montage six. Or I'm sorry, I would put this above the montage. I would put it oh man, that would be a brutal, a brutal shootout, wouldn't it? The montage M versus this. I think I would choose the montage M, sadly. Not because I worked on it for years, but because I feel like I also feel like the Montage M, it costs a lot more, <laughs> so it's kind of to be expected. Um, let's see what pigments packs it has. Instruments. Oh, you know what's awesome, by the way? Just mentioning it are augmented voices. I was just using it for a project yesterday, and I was like, oh, man. Oh, these are only keys, that's why. For some reason, this makes me think of Jacob Collier. Just like this patch. So it could go like, so I, real quick, you go this way, and then you have the negative harmony, which are, and then the positive harmony, it's this, and then you just go this, and you know, so what's, so, so what's a C major? It's a C, E, G, B, yeah, we got that, and then we go. going to look at the they're going to bring out V collection for $300 I don't know how much V collection costs by the way I, I I feel like I've noticed on my YouTube feed I've seen some Jacob Collier hate lately and I've always been kind of like yeah he's talented as fuck seems like a really nice guy and, but not really, you know, falling into the Jacob Collier worship, 
But now I feel super defensive of him because people are like, he's too much. And I'm like, well, let him do it his thing. If you don't like it, don't listen to it. I, d- I think I, I just have to be a contrarian all the time, don't I? Uh, let's choose a pluck that is also pigments. And then let's make a generative patch. Let's go fucking crazy. Don't they have a pluck? There we go. Ooh, nice. I will tell you, yeah, with, uh, with V Collection, I will tell you one thing. I'll tell you something. I do, um, think that it's, I'm kind of annoyed that it's not included with this. At least to my knowledge, it's not. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. I'm not going through the presets I need to be going through right now. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, it's not included with this, and I'm a little annoyed by that. I, I would, like, I feel like if you're spending two, two Gs on this thing... V, you should be, you should get V collection. Now, it still will play all the sounds, but you just can't edit them all. And you could load custom presets, yeah. To be totally honest, I feel like if I ordered this and got it and then found out that there wasn't, that I didn't have V collection, that I couldn't edit the presets to this scale, I would probably pirate it. I would be really annoyed. But that's just me. I'm not telling you to do that. You'll get arrested, depending where you live. You'll go to jail. I bet in North Korea, software piracy is like death sentence. Okay. So this is our patch. Um, can we edit it live? That I don't know. Okay. So editing it, weirdly, I have to use this keyboard. So I'm going to... So one of them is the hardware in here. One of them's actually playing through here. So let's edit this and then save it and load it on there. Sequence. Cust. Const. Contrasting minor. Crusher, get out of town. Is there another bit crusher? Maybe it's the wave folder. What the hell is causing that goddamn sound? Shut up, Bit Crusher. Nobody likes you in this patch. Yes, I do have the pigments arpeggiator. I'm using the sequencer right now. I'm just making sure it's regenning. Oh, there we go. Every 
two bars. Let's go every one bar. Oh, it's this, I bet. Oh. What, is, what a trick. Uh, let's get some more reverb. Remember, we, we are trying to abuse our <laughs> Astro Lab right now. So let's go heavy on the effects. so paranoid now that I'm gonna go back go back to editing okay this one's called uh, Ben stream one no Ben stream chimes we could leave that we could leave Marco on there. I'm not going to take credit for his work. Okay. Now it gets complicated. Is this... Let's load off of this and then back to it. Where'd you go? Did I not just save that? Am I crazy? Explore. There. All right. Okay, so now it is... All right. Now we need to add another pigments. Um, all right. <laughs> Maybe sub bass. This one's a little weird. Keep doing that. Ugh, I did it again. Sorry, everybody. This is uh this is a problem I've run into before where I've accidentally clicked off of presets on accident. So let's start again with the pigments thing. Um I did save the the one. It's just
There we go. I do hope that, yes, I know, it's because there's nothing loaded. I do hope that at some point they fix some of these pain points. Done. Add instrument. Let's just add another one of these for now. <laughs> Done. Now we could edit this sound a little bit. That fucking negativity in the chat, man. Chill out. Like, don't buy it then. Sorry, Cap Human, I'm not talking to you. I, I wasn't referring to you in that. Now we're getting somewhere. machine then go buy one buy a real buy a real synth whatever you think that is enjoy it you're totally free to nobody's forcing you to buy this So let's load this directly on there. Um, first things first, I will save. I love how it's an electric piano patch still. Uh, mm, I'll save it this way. Okay, this one I'm putting Ben in. Ben test. Streamer. Type creative EP. Um, can I type in my own? Sequence. New. Yeah, I can. Generative. I am I'm starting my own genre. Okay. Okay. So now let us I wanna make sure I wanna make sure I'm doing everything right because I'm just not used to this interface. All right, there it is. So I'm reloading it. Away we go and back in we go. I want to reload it fresh. It's 
So if we explore the banks, it should be there. And all right, now it is loaded in on pigments times two. And let's press a button. This is on its own BPM, This, by the way. That's why it sounds different. Back to them. Cool. Um, so, uh, one last, sorry, I, I keep going off of it and back on. I just wanted to see how fast it switched away. Do I have any of my other patches on here? No. All right, so that's how long it takes to load. And if I press three keys at once, we are at 65%. Okay, that's 65%, uh, 67. 59. I have the CPU reading out here. Huh. Okay. So that tells me that they probably have given it a little bit of headroom for future updates, I'm assuming. Because, I mean, these are like, I'm assuming, again, pigments is the most the most CPU intensive thing that this can run. And it's running two of them with like the reverb and delays maxed out. So that's a whole lot. It is not fully weighted. Um, which somewhat knowing the designer, I understand like I, the fully weighted thing. It's like, I like it. I have it here. I don't perform with it because fully weighted keyboards weigh over a hundred pounds. <laughs> you know, it's like you can't really take them around on tour. Yeah, I feel like I've, uh, I've done similar damage just with <laughs> just with things on my on my PC. Like two pigments can take up like thirty percent of my PC. Um, so that yeah, you have playlists. One thing, another thing, I want to check out really fast is I'd like to load a split. So actually, we could do this with here. I would do this here. I bet I'll get rid of this, and so I'll load one of these. Add an instrument. That preset can be uh, maybe a piano. Honestly, yeah. Let's just load up Home Grand. All right, so we have keyboard settings down here, which allows us All right, I'm going to save this as well as a different one. Save preset as streamer split. Save. Okay. Look at that beautiful image. So now we have streamer. Oh, 
load directly. And let's see how it works. Uh, I don't know what key I want to play in. Oh, I'm using the wrong pedal. I'm dumb. So, um, also, if we go to explore, so, okay, so we could run, like, a generative one and, and then a performative one and another. Split. These are all of the splits. Oof. Shut up. I got confused for a moment. I thought that this was... Drum oh, this is a drum kit made out of, uh, it's odd. Wow, yeah, this is pretty great for pads, honestly.
and then if I want it. two and then edit the Super fun. Morning roads. Oof. Wait, I'm confused. How's this a split? It's not a split. But it's awesome. <laughs> Digging. Can you imagine buying a stage keyboard and being like, all right, everybody. Check this out. <laughs> they brought that whole thing just for that. <laughs> it's 
just feel feel the warmth. Holy shit. That was nice. That was really nice. Not bad at all. Do we have any other splits? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what another funny trick is on here? I'll show you in a moment. So, if we just press split, oops, if we just press split. Ah. 
Um, so check this out. I'm going to choose just an electric piano. Any old one. The great one, this one's called. Eh. So we have chords. We can edit the chords. This, I swear this gets more interesting than it seems. So I'm going to turn scale on. I'm going to turn it to uh, minor. I'm going to turn chord on. However, the part selection is only going to be part one, which shouldn't matter here. Actually, I forgot that I have. So let's just select all for that. We also do have, we could turn chord off and it should just lock us in, in this scale. So we're in C minor. And I'm gonna go way off. Or just slide right down. Wow, magic. Uh, let's go whole tone. Do they have whole tone? Everybody should have whole tone. Oh, we got Japanese. Nice. Listen to me hit those Japanese scales so fast. Wow, never thought I'd get that good. Uh, also, the G word scale. Can we say can we say G Y P S Y anymore? The, the traveling, the Irish traveler scale, the Romani scale. <laughs> I sort of got. Let's be honest about that for a moment. Anytime I've used the word gypsy front of somebody who is Romani or a traveler, which I have met a few, um, they use it and they don't mind you using it. The only people who have ever yelled at me for using that term have been like suburban college students in America. I think maybe using it as like an encyclopedia reference might be fucked, but... Wow. I play this, this is called Fragish. I played this scale all the time and I didn't realize what it was called. You learn something new every day. Um, oh yeah, and these change with patch, which is handy. Uh, let me choose a patch that has a split. Ooh, let's see. Okay, so this one I can actually demonstrate what I was talking about. So I'm gonna hit chord. Um, chord on, just have it be a major seven for part one. And then in C major. And now everything here. And then, yeah, here we should just have. So you could like be a complete noob. And now if we wanted to stay out of scale, um, this is kind of how I play anyway. Um, and then if I, yeah, scale means nothing right now.
<laughs> what a nice little challenge. Oh. I'm trying to play Frey in over this now. Or Freyish over this now. <laughs> Ugh. reading this chat ah here's a question I forgot earlier Ben from Dan where will the Astrolab end up in your studio if anywhere it will end up uh, that's a good question um especially since my studio is about to change drastically in the next few months. Right now, it's not going to end up anywhere in my studio out in the open, really. Well, you know what? It was in my... I have a room upstairs, like a guitar room. Sometimes I film my videos and you might recognize it, but I play instruments in that room quite often. I don't really make music in that room as much as I just sort of play the guitar with pedals or play... I had like a montage up there forever. Um, even that MPE... MP, <laughs> I can't speak today. <laughs> MPC key 61 was up there. And then um, also a montage. Yeah, so this montage, MPC. Yeah, so I guess this will probably be a ringer for rooms like that. Now, that being said, um, in my new studio, I can imagine it. It's going to be in a separate building on my property. Um, I bought a new place. And I have a feeling that this may stay in the main house and, the, you know, as like a practice thing. So. So, yeah, that will be fun. Um, do I still have the PA5X? No, I sent it back. I had to look it up to see if the new one, to see if they had a new one out yet. For some reason, I thought they had the the Oriental version of it. Um, but they don't. Anyway, yeah, that one is still still there. Ah, so custom is in there. I could have kept the PA5X. I would have liked to. But I also had the option of sending it back and to, you know, be ethical. <laughs> I sent it back. Hey, John. Uh, yeah, the Montage M8X is incredible. I would absolutely... You know who just played with one uh, Red Means recording? And he's not like, you know, that's not his world really. Like the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no Lumitone for me. Um, but yeah, the Montage M8X is probably the most powerful synthesizer in the world right now. And I, I don't say that lightly. <gasps> oh my why? Well, seems to load just fine. They lied. Damn. 
this or the MPC key 61 for value. Um, what do you want to do? Just play around? You want to just play a synth in your living room? Done this, for sure. Uh, if you want an MPC, if you want to make, if you want to make some sequences, then that would be, yeah, it's a pretty easy one, I suppose. <laughs> Oh, I thought this was simple. I thought that that was uh, augmented strings. I, I will. Oh, you know what I wanted to try? Uh, the vocoder. I might. I could do that with this, I suppose. Couldn't I? Yeah, I'll have to unplug this, but well, y'all can live without me yapping. Um, Vocoder. <laughs> There you go, Atmos vocoder. So does this load? It loads. Nice. How's the key bed? The key bed's, uh, it's not bad. It's all right. It's a little bit better than the key lab, I would say. Not the key lab, make, sorry, not the 88. It's a little bit better than the 61 key key lab, which I have in the other room. Um, I'm gonna have to unplug one of these. I'm going to have to unplug one of these bitches. All right, I'm going to unplug this. I'm going to be quiet for a minute because I'm going to test out the vocoder. I assume it's input one. That's going to be a no for me. I could not get the vocoder to, to work. Um, I don't know if that, there might be something I'm, I'm missing here, but. I wonder if, oh wait, we do have initial, initialized plugins, don't we? Init. The British plugin. Okay, so I want to add an instrument. Or I want to get rid of this and then add an instrument. Um, how about the Moog modular. <laughs> Let's try and make a modular patch and load it on there. Okay, something easy. Start up. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> so much. Um, yeah, so by the way, when we're editing something, I'm using the bottom keyboard, just so you know. Ah, 
Oh man, thank you. I remember aesthetic evolution. That was beautiful. That was a beautiful property out there. 2008. Oh yeah, I was on tour with Kettle. I don't know where to start. I mean, I might as well do this, right? Might as well get crazy. Just looking at all these route. That one routes through the filter. The output goes into the VCA in, okay. Makes me also want to check here. This is loading. Um, oh yeah, I meant to check the... <laughs> Edit that arpeggio. even cross 30% and this is running Moog Modular. <laughs> Damn. Amazing. This is two Moog Modulars. percent Oops Yeah Not 
crossing 50%. Wow. I haven't played with this enough. One thing that I always wanted to do with this, but I don't think there's a way to do it, is edit so each note has a different oscillator in the poly. But I just... I mean, that's so far out of its scope anyway. It's not supposed to be a polysynth, so. Lucy's woken up, I heard her cough. Now she's scratching. I like this Lucy Cam option. I had no idea this was a thing. Uh oh. Hairball. How embarrassing. She doesn't even realize that she's being recorded right now. Quit scratching, Lucy. All right. Um, what other instruments can we play with? These are all multi. The micro freak, which or mini freak rather, which I'm not even not even there yet. I don't have one. I have a I have a beta unit. Ah, oh, are the, is it? Oh, oh, I found a. So are none of these. Oh, okay. So Mini Freak is not compatible with. Interesting. Let me verify that on this end really fast. Not that you could see what I'm doing, but. So yeah, you can explore via instruments. And. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Yeah, okay. Mini is, uh, yeah. This mini, not mini freak. I thought, because it just says mini. I thought it was. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't love a synclav? Yeah, I guess I won't need a micro freak after it. <laughs> Wow. 
the originals. DX7 with knobs. Need me some chimes. <sighs> I love that sound so much. I guess we'll just find Arturia as the designer. screwed up. I'm a loser. Okay, let's increase that time and this will sound nice and Sonic the Hedgehog.
Yeah, I love the way that sounds. Let's see. It's a good question. I have two free things. Or I guess these are all my free banks. Uh, which one should I get? Analog Vintage. Yeah, I don't know. Um, downloading some free patches. Yeah, the DX7 is like limitless. <laughs> All right. Some freebies. I think. I could get a trap base for once. I've been looking for a, a good trap base for like years now. One from Donda. Oh, they're all mini freak. Well, fine. The musical side of Bukla. Oh, all right. Oh, these ones are locked. Fine. Oh, no, they're not. I just didn't download them yet. This one doesn't play anything. We have the silent side of Google. Yeah, 
Yeah, very musical. <laughs> I feel like this isn't selling me on the musical side of Bukla. I mean, they sound cool, but I'm not like, wow, I had no idea the Bukla was so musical. Um, You have to have this enabled to do that, okay. because I don't have the new Model D. Lame. Yeah, I'm using, I'm actually using an older version of E-Collection. But they apparently... So I can't open this, right? Oh, I can. Okay, that's good news. Oh, this is on the... Huh. Sounds nice. idea to be honest that um yeah i didn't even know that um 
lost my train of thought. Oh, where am I? I'm reading all these. Yeah, I didn't even know that the Model D was updated. Yeah, what's going on with this store? Damn, some of these are expensive. I've never bought one of these. Not that I have a problem with it. I've just never... I feel like I haven't run out of presets. I feel like it comes with enough. Give me an OPXA. stay on the OPXA? No, I have to choose that here. Okay, so here I have the ability of choosing my instruments, and I will choose OPXA here. All right, Detroit Stab. like David Lynch music. thing I want to check out on here not that I like I'm not familiar with it but I just really do love that Casio CZ come on give me a give me a good saw Arpeggiator going. Thank you. 
Ooh, why does that sound so real? I mean, not real, but close, right? For... Yeah, I guess you get to hear more of how it's made. synth. It's amazing. And then, of course, we could select a CS80. What have we run into? <laughs> Welcome to the chat room, Ben Bowman. Oh, my mom, you are the Walmart greeter of my chat. I love it. Boop. Lucy, check. Ben, check. Uh, what do we think? Let me move the uh, camera. Nope, wrong way. Sorry, I'm getting used to it. Move the camera to include the product that I am talking about. There we go. I'm an influencer now. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that would be funny. That would be amazing if all of the sounds were just coming out of this knob. That was it. Like, you could take this out and hook it up to any MIDI controller. Oh, worth noting, uh, not using it in here because, like, my network situation is all weird down here. Um, everything's hardwired. But uh, if you want to sync this with Analog Lab Pro, you don't need to plug it in, I don't think. It has Wi-Fi on here. So this connected to my home network, and then upstairs on my laptop, I was able to edit the sounds just from, like, my laptop. And it makes me wonder, I would actually be really into the idea of a of an ipad app or an iphone app or a name i mean i have an android so let's go with that one but ipad as well um that would act, it makes me wonder like that would be a good use of this negative space here um if y'all can see it i'm bad with direction okay my printer paper's falling down. Um, yeah, that would make good use of that negative space, really. You could put a... Let's fit that. Let's put my Galaxy on there. Like, if there's a little holder there, and you could just, like, edit 
edit the buttons. Um, or maybe a small iPad would fit there. But anyway, uh, that actually, do I feel... Because my larger Arturia down here has a stand holder thing back here somewhere. Or screws. Yeah, that would be a pretty rad idea, honestly. Something that could just hold in an iPad screen um, or a phone screen. Because that way you would really be able to get the full analog lab experience if you wanted to. If you, you know, if you had a gig where you had to browse around and edit sounds and stuff that way. Yeah. Well, that was fun. Um, oh, yeah, we'll host Wi-Fi. That's right. You can just connect straight to it. Um, well, thanks for making a stage piano, Arturia. I'm glad, and thanks for releasing it, because I am uh, I'm, I'm tired of not being able to talk about it. <laughs> it's one of those things, there's, there's all these... Every now and then there's like a synth coming out where you just want to like tell people about it. They'll talk about Arturia and, um, yeah, so I'm glad that another one of those secrets is out of the bag. Um, sweet. Oh, uh, let's check on Lucy one more time. Totally asleep. Totally done with the world. Oh, she's so cute. Look at this. Can I get a little bit? Can this thing go in the right direction for once in its life? Nope, it cannot. There she is. Oh my goodness. Um, any news about KSP? Kerbal Space Program? I'm looking that up. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, I don't, I've never played it. I want to. It seems like it's up my, my alley. Yeah. If I wave my hand, she'll see it a little bit. Now that she's deaf, she sleeps with her eyes open a little bit. Or if I... <laughs> She's just like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Lucy! Lucy! <laughs> yeah, she does not give a fuck. She's like, ugh, fuck this, I don't care. All right, perfect. Oh, Key Step Pro. Yeah, I have that. Um, boop, I haven't really... It's over there. It's the black one. I haven't played with the new firmware yet. Um, maybe we'll do that in the week or next week or the week after. That'd be fun. It's an easy stream, too. Um, yeah. Well, I guess that's about it. I'm uh, Ultimate takeaways. Pretend I'm doing a review. Um, yeah, I mean, I've, I've been excited about this thing. Uh, it's pretty rad, man. Arturia V6 collection and a stage piano plus pigments is it's a lot. And being able to run two instances at a time and then switch as fast as it does. Uh, had I not known that was coming from them directly, I would have not ever known that that was coming. I would have never suspected that that would be the next thing. Um, and I'm really happy that Arturia is breaking into new industries or new sides of the industry. Like this is definitely the performer uh, crossing over to worship and stuff like that, which is really cool. So, yeah. Well, anyway, that's my stream. And uh, I have no idea if I'll have a video out by Monday. I doubt it. I'm going to try my best, but it's been taking a long time just because I've been wanting to do it right. Um, oh, you know what else would be fun to check out on a future stream? This thing. Yeah, that's right. I got one. Lucky me. I mean, I bought it. I'm not that lucky. I'm kind of unlucky because I keep buying shit I don't need, but I can't wait to play with that either. Anyway, have a great evening, everybody. Mm -hmm.